Alex Forte here, the Arts of Simple Golf with Andy Gorman, and you know, we're bringing you methods that are really going to make it easy for you to go out and play whenever that may be. You might be snowed under, you might be flooded, uh, you might be too busy to get to the practice or golf at the moment. Whatever it is, there's always a way to practice your golf game. And you know, I get a lot of emails asking for tips and this sort of one drill is good whether you're off five, whether you're off 25, it doesn't really matter because it's ingraining a nice feeling that is natural and smooth and is going to hopefully you know, ingrain some muscle memory but without force or overcomplication. What is it, Andy? It's a simple turning drill and, and that is it. It's a simple turning drill. All movement is going to be governed by the turn of the body. So, you know, I could put my right arm out here so you can see that if I was holding a golf club, that that would move because my body has turned. Now we talk about shoulder rotation, so you know, let's not complicate it. You know, in terms of you know that terminology will do. You can see my upper torso represented by my shoulders turning. Now, if I'm not very flexible, I'm, I'm not as flexible as Alex is. He spends more time in the gym in a week than I spent in probably ten years. But you know, if I was a little bit tight in my body. Which most people are, and you probably are, which is about 85% of you, because you sit too much, you're too high, tight in hip flexors. And there are lots of sort of simple stretches and mobility stuff you can do, but if you are tight, how about turn the hips with your chest? Because you've got to turn your chest. If it's you're about allowing this to, you know, this X factor and resisting here yeah. is only going to cause injury for you. You know, the interesting thing is. You know, it's often spoken about maintain the flex here in your right leg. Well, you know, that's about it for me. Now, Alex might get a little further, but actually, I don't want it. that's hurting in parts of my body that I shouldn't even feel, let alone, you know, know that they're hurting. So, you know, I'm feeling something going on here, and I'm resisting down there, and oh, that's not right. So, Movement is simple. The right shoulder is going to move back behind my head. That's all I want you to feel. It's move back behind my head. But it's allowing the rest of the body to feel, you know, loose and just turn. Allow it to move. There's Have no resistance here. Have a look at the right leg, the upper thigh, and the knee as that moves. So there is some flex going on there. It's straightening. Now I didn't say straightened. It's not straight at the top of the swing. But even Mr. Hogan had his right leg straightened in order that he could get enough hip turn to facilitate the amount of shoulder turn that he wanted in his golf swing. So, you know, let's not get caught up on stuff we can't do. If you're hyper flexible, you may need to do something that restricts this movement because it needs to restrict this movement because this shoulder can get all the way around without a problem. If you can't, Harvey Beanie, Ben Crenshaw, and Tom Kite's coach said, if the left heel comes off the ground, it's perfectly okay. In fact, if he wants to come off the ground, it's okay. Yeah, so that, that kind of concept, this understanding seems to be frowned upon nowadays. So allow your body to go where your body wants to go. It's not about, that's the whole point about you know, consistent golf. It's yeah. where it shouldn't feel forced or anything. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, it's going to be easy for you, but you, when you train yourself a little bit to allow your you know, foot to come up, you know, Bubba Watson, the reason why his foot comes off the ground is because he's actually not all that flexible. His body's just, he's just allowing his body to go. If, uh, you know, a coach tried to make him keep his, well, it goes that way, doesn't it? If he was told, you've got to, you know, this is the position we want you to be in, and he was trying to hit balls with his knee pointing down that way, how could you think he would be? Not very you know, we've got to get to certain positions irrespective of how we do it. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're positions just come up there and we do frown the money, both Alex and I, but the, the big deal here is that in order to get something to happen, we've got to achieve something. If you want to hit a golf ball further, you've 
you've got to generate more club head speed. We can't get away from the science, you know, the physics of more club head speed. And you probably will have to centre the strike better. So how you generate more club head speed and a better centre strike is get into a position your body wants you to be in rather than one you can't get into. Yeah, and this drill, just get a club, or you don't even need a club necessarily, and all we're saying is just make that turn but allow the body to go where it wants. If it's all the way back there, that's fine. And the same on the way through. Just feel a nice flow. And that's what you want to do. You know, do 20, 30 at home. Don't, you don't have to do it in front of a mirror. You can do it to sort of see when you allow your body where to go, where it does go. But don't try and put yourself into sort of certain positions or thinking aesthetically where you should be. Just do what feels nice. So it's like, oh yeah, I can stand here and do this all day long. And I then want you to close your eyes when you've got the club, and I really want you to imagine that you're hitting, say, a seven iron, whatever distance that may be, 160 yards, let's say, and I want you to picture a nice, pure strike. So what would that feel like, okay? I'm picturing the green, I'm picturing the ball, and I'm just turning and I'm swinging through. And that's the vision I want you to have in your mind. So this is how we practice and train at home, doing a natural movement. Right. And remember, in that imagination, the sun's shining, yeah. it's nice and warm, the birds are tweeting and you're about to hit a great shot. Yeah. So it is literally, you know, getting good imagination in there. And that feel for the movement. Is my right shoulder, I'm right-handed, is it behind my head? And it reverse that then. So my left shoulder's behind my head. It's not complicated. In fact, it's real simple. Yeah. You might not think, oh, I've seen this drill before. Yeah, but you're seeing people who are you know, keeping over that side, making it forced. It works, so that's why we're telling you to do it. So we're giving you a slightly different spin to think about it a little bit differently and allow your body to go where it wants. And you will start playing better, even without hitting golf balls. Yeah, that's it. Thanks.